Welcome back to Fresno Forward. I'm your host, Brock Tatum, and joining me now is Charlie in the Box. He's a local political activist and a truth monster of Fresno. Uh, you may have seen him around on some YouTube videos. Uh, you may have seen him around town on the streets, just putting out the vibe. Um, so here he is, Charlie in the Box, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Miguel? Uh, Charlie, what first woke you up to becoming politically active? Well, what happened was I listened to a lot of alternative radio. Yeah. And I was working graveyard listening to Coast to Coast at night, and they talk about a lot of different topics. And a coworker, he seen a DVD that his neighbor gave him. And he told me, he goes, you know what, I think you would really find this video interesting. You might want to give it a chance. And I really didn't look at it because I don't care about that kind of stuff. Right. So after I watched it, it just gave, it gave me all those questions I had about government. And it's like, okay, what do you do from there? I started looking myself, trying to see if it's true. Yeah, it gave you some real uh, meat to work with. Yeah, right? to do something. Yeah. So that's when I, I, I realized what the video said was true. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I just tried to educate my family and coworkers, and nobody wanted to listen to me. So the only thing I knew how to do was just do a video on YouTube and just try to say, right. hey, people, listen to what I'm saying. And it seems like you're getting a lot of uh, response. Um, you've got... I think over 600 subscribers on your YouTube account, and you're continuously putting out, I mean, videos with some good content. So I think we've got a, up on the screen at some point. We'll have your uh, YouTube channel people can look at. Um, how do you come up with the concepts for your videos? Well, because see, one thing that I'm doing is I, I'm really paying attention to what's going on within our country mm -hmm. and and throughout the world. And as I come up with this, I start okay. Well, how can I? relay the news to people so they can understand because I can sit down and report the news mm -hmm. but the thing about it is most people don't care to look at it because they really don't understand how that pertains to their everyday life and how it affects them. You're sort of giving them the, the underground level, the next level yeah. sort of uh, understanding of yeah. what's happening in the news. Yeah, layman's terms or something right. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now in your videos I, I hear you talking a lot about the left-right paradigm um, and how it's bogus. What can you tell us about about that? The left-right paradigm, left-wing, right-wing, okay. political, conservative. And okay. Liberal. See, what I get from this. See, one thing is me personally is I, I love my country. I love it, but I didn't understand it. So as I started educating myself and I started understanding our constitution, why we were given it, this type of things. The only thing I knew how to do was that. Okay, well, I need to understand it. By me understanding it was that it, it, the left-right paradigm. It's there to keep balance within our system, but the balance has to be with the people to understand exactly what's going on within the paradigm. But see, nowadays with the left right paradigm, it's just a distraction to keep people distracted of, oh, you know what, kind of, you, you're going to be with the left and you're going to be right. You're that against kind of them. Squabbling over yeah, you, some you're minor just, issues. Yeah, you're just fighting about stuff that's just really not going to get you nowhere mm -hmm. and keep you distracted from you to understand what the other hand's doing. Right. And that's with our government. They, they keep you distracted with this to don't look at this hand and that's what I do it's not that it's right. it's not good it's just that it's a distraction right now we as Americans have to put our differences aside and we as Americans have fixed the problems that we have in our country our government's not going to do it's we as the people that's going to do it yeah nice uh, in a number of your videos you're talking about how there's two kinds of people in America today there's some that are just completely aware and awake to yeah. what you're talking about there's uh, and, and then there's some that just don't care, and they're they're unaware of what's happening in politics or what's happening to our freedoms and liberties. Uh, what do you have to say to that second group who just kind of maybe knows there's something going on but just doesn't care? Those people that are right now in our country and in and, and, and your local communities is that you don't have the luxury anymore to sit down and, and not pay attention to what our government's doing. Each bill that your government passes, it takes away your liberties and your freedoms. And you have to understand what government is. It, it's like a it's like a person that's guarding your freedom, and you gave him a sword. As you give that protector of your freedoms and liberty a sword, if you don't be careful, what they're going to do is get eventually get corrupted, and they're going to stab you with that sword. So it's we as people have to understand those type of things and really get down to the nitty gritty. Is that we as people have to make that change and do the diff, uh, make the change within our society and our lives because no one else is going to do that for you. As soon as people get into government, into power, they, they, they take the bribe, they take the... the, the yeah, it's the, almost like an uncontrollable thing. Yeah, it's oh, just, it's like, that's just human yeah, nature, you right. know what I'm saying? People just 
have that in them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we've got a clip here we're going to show of Charlie in the box uh, so everybody can see what we're talking about here. Can you run that? Up, Charlie in the box. Now, you may seem kind of serious uh, in your videos, and, and you know you kind of have to be. It is an intense topic, but I know in person you're a pretty happy guy. You're lighthearted. You know, it's not you don't let this bog you down in the rest of your life. Am I right? Oh no, they, it really you, consumes me. Right, it, it consumes me a lot. But see, that's why I have my wife next to me right. that draws me back. My kids draw me back because. It, it consumes me, brother. <laughs> now, with your wife and a, you have three kids, uh, yeah. how, how do they intensify your activism? I mean, do they really have an influence on you as, as far as your intensity? My kids are everything to me. My kids are the reason why I'm doing what I do. If I didn't love my kids, I wouldn't care what happens within our country and our society. But most people, and I'm looking, I'm talking to you right now, most people in life say that they love their kids and they just want a better opportunity for their kids to have a, a, a life than they did, for them to go to college, for them just, just to have a chance, better opportunities than we do. But by we as Americans not understanding what our government does, you're not giving them that better opportunity. You're not. I, as I educate myself and I, I do all the homework that the most Americans refuse to do because they're distracted on their everyday lives, I come to realize exactly what's going on, and you're not going to do that. You're not giving them that better freedom or liberty or better opportunity at a job when they graduate from college. How hard is it we as parents to get a job today? So in the future, you think it's going to be better for your kids to get a job? It isn't going to be better. Right. And everything I do is for my kids. I go to work for my kids. If I didn't probably have kids, I probably wouldn't be working. I'd probably be a loaf like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to do that. Everybody wants something for nothing. Mm -hmm. But anytime you get something, there's always something in return they want from you. you know what I'm saying so my kids, my wife, my family, your kids, everybody's kids, I do that for them. You know because if my, my brothers and sisters, well actually I haven't got a brother, but my sisters, my family members that don't get active, well I have to be stronger and I have to be more passionate for all that people that aren't doing it. You know right. what I'm saying? So that my kids and my family are everything. They mean the world to me. Pulling all that energy together and putting it out there, yeah. that's great. Well me growing up without a dad I just look to my kids like, okay, well, I need to give them the dad that I wasn't having. Right, yeah. So I need to be, try to be the best dad I could. The husband my mom didn't have, I try to be that. You know what I'm it's awesome. I'm trying my hardest, brother. I'm trying my hardest. If we had, if we had a thousand guys like you, this town would be different. I'll tell you what, man. No, never, you're out there. You just have to do something. Right. So there, you're out there, but don't believe that you're by yourself. There, there's people there that are willing to help you and go uh, forward with you. But you have to be the one to first take that initiative and, and push forward, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of um, activities are you doing out on the street? Are you? I know you're involved with We Are Change, Fresno, yeah, yeah. and they, uh, they're out of Blackstone and Nice a lot. Is there any other um, groups that you want to uh, bring up while you're here that you take part I, in? Is that just kind of your main focus? No, at, at the beginning, I started off with the two parties. I went, I went to the very first tea party they had in Fresno, okay. and, I, and I still will go. But the only thing is that right now the Tea Party, they're, they're being co-opted, they're, they're being distracted with the left right kind of, paradigm. Yeah, right, they, 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 coming yeah, off. Yeah, because... Based on small I, issues, just driving them apart. Exactly. Yeah. So right now I'm focusing with We Are Changes because 
they're the ones that are getting the message out to the people to understand exactly the problems that we face in America because the mainstream media is not reporting on those things. So we have the information that the people have to understand. Look, this is what's really going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. You may think it's a conspiracy, but don't believe what I'm giving you. Check for yourself and prove it wrong. When you realize it's the truth, what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're a group called We Are Change Friends, and whenever you're ready, we're waiting for you to come out and help us out. You know Absolutely. What I'm uh, I know that you're trying to get on New Rock 104. Uh, they have the homegrown Sunday nights. Yeah. Uh, you're trying to do that a little bit too. Well, I hand it in. I talk to people, but I just have trying to get up yeah. some support, right? Yeah, I would so like to we're do asking that. for support here on Fresno 4. We want Charlie in the box on New Rock 104 homegrown Sunday nights. Uh, I mean, you know how to contact him. It's easy enough. New Rock 104, and uh, put out a word for Charlie in the box for us. Is there uh, anything else that you'd like to say here while we wrap up? No, I just, I really wish America, please wake up already, New. The changes that we have, that, that we need to happen in this country, isn't going to come from somebody else. Don't expect anybody else to do this footwork. It's we as Americans, we as people in our community, local communities, that are going to make this change. If you don't be the one to do it, who's going to be do it for you? You expect someone else to go to work for you and, and take care of your family? No, it's going to be you the one that has to wake up every day and do that. So it's the same thing with fixing the problems that we have in America. It's we as the people that are going to do it. But the first thing you have to do is educate yourself. The second thing you have to do is to get active in your community. But you have to make sure you know who's leading you. Because if those people are talking about getting even with the corrupted system that we have today, you're not going to fix the problems. You're going to only make them worser. Just like all the stuff that's going on within the world, like the social rising in the Arab countries, in Europe, in Latin America, well, eventually they're going to come here. And if you're going to be one of those people that go out and try to riot and try to get your peace out of this corrupt system, you're part of the problem. You're not going to fix the things. So that's, I'm, I'm just trying my hardest, people. Wake up, America. Wake up, dude. Well said, Charlie. Thank you, man. <laughs> uh, check out the videos. Um, I know he's got a lot on his plate. He puts out a lot of different ideas. Uh, just take one of them and research it on your own. You don't have to take all of it at once. There's a lot to take in. Just go with one, look into it, and you may see a light flick on, and then you'll want to move on to something else. So let's do it for Charlie. Charlie, thanks Thank for you, coming man. in, man. Thank you for inviting Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Stick with us. We'll be back. we got Jeffrey Gonzalez. He's going to talk to us about secret underground military bases.